Hello Aquarius, Amy Energy here with your weekly tarot message. If you have not, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to be notified whenever I make a new video for you. Aquarius, we are working with the Raja Tarot deck this week, pulling out for our career, love life, and personal. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. It will not resonate for every Aquarius placement out there. Okay, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, comment, share my channel with a friend. It means the world to me. Let's get into career. We have the magician coming out, Aquarius. So I really see us putting ourselves out there, communicating, going for a new opportunity here. Okay, we have all the tools we need. Our resume is looking good. Okay, we have the six of pentacles, the two of wands coming out. That's an eight together, right? So we are evolving. Um, it's a nine with the magician, so we are reevaluating, re okay? But right now with this two of wands, I definitely feel like we're not exactly where we want to be, okay? But we can feel it. We can sense it, that it's close here, okay? We have the four of swords coming out to clarify that two of wands, so... We are processing a lot of information, right? We're looking, I feel like we're looking out into our world, we're gathering information, and then we're processing that information. We're trying to gain an understanding of how to, you know, assert our will and, you know, how to manage our finances as well, okay? So the tower and the devil, okay showing up here so i definitely feel like aquarius there is something to do with money here that we have a lot of blockages around okay with the devil this is a very oppressive energy the tower is on the bottom of the deck so i do feel like there could be something happening aquarius and this is very heavy for a general reading so um feel free to book a personal um, that will be, you know, more tailored to your life. Please take anything I'm saying here with a grain of salt because this is a general reading. Okay, we do have justice on the bottom. So I feel like we're really, like, in processing this information, a lot is being illuminated to us about our situation, okay? So I feel like we could be, you know, having a major breakthrough this week just in understanding our relationship to money okay and our relationship to work here as well all right going to get into the air mail oracle by sarah stacy okay Catch up is coming out on the bottom of the deck and ask questions. So I do feel like if you're looking for work, Aquarius, you um, maybe want to follow up, okay? That's what I'm really, really feeling here. Follow up on any opportunities, okay? That four of swords here, like really go back through any like jobs that you've applied for, like maybe give them a call, see if they're like hiring again. Um, so I feel like there is an opportunity here for you. Perfect mer Mercury retrograde activity, right? Go through those past emails that you've sent, all that. Okay, moving into love life, 10 of wands, okay. So we're releasing some major energies here in the love life. Strength coming out with the tower again, okay. So this is a big week for you. Aquarius, okay, but I just want to keep focusing on justice on the bottom of your deck. So, yes, we could be having breakdown, breakthrough. This is heavy, okay? However, it's illuminating things that we really needed to see, okay, so that we can leave behind the things that do not serve us, okay? We are strong. We have the strength card coming out, and what that is letting me know is that we are going to endure this situation with grace okay whatever this is here all right 
Let's see, what is the tower, please? The Two of Swords. Okay, so something is being revealed, um, and it's kind of leaving us not knowing which way to go here. Um, clarifying the strength card, please. All right, wow. Very intense. This is very, you know, energy where, you know, obviously we can't see what's going on exactly, so we're just left to kind of trust our feelings about the situation. Okay, Six of Wands trying to jump out there. We'll take it. Okay, we'll take a victory any place we can get one, right? Okay, um, but the Eight and the Six reduces down to a Five. Okay, so there is conflict here. But we are also growing. We are having a victory. We are evolving. Okay, because even though there is a victory, and we can sense that, I definitely feel like that's the conflict, right? We can sense that, you know, there is this opportunity for us to have a victory or we can sense that what's happening is for our greater good. But at the same time, it's really scary because we're ending a cycle, okay? And this is all coming up in our love life, okay? So I don't necessarily feel like we're meeting somebody. Um, but I feel like the victory that we're having is of really recognizing what we have to offer and being able to put ourselves out there in an appropriate way to really feel empowered to express our unique needs and boundaries and, you know, even what we hope and, you know, want for our future. So it's, it's really lovely here, but it's a lot, okay? I feel like we have a lot of feelings coming up, very like Mercury retrograde here. Dealing with them past energies. Be direct, coming out, absolutely, and free flow on the bottom. So I do feel like when it comes to your love life, Aquarius, there is a need for you to let things flow a little bit more. Understand that you do have control over yourself and you do have strength here. But true strength is in being gentle, right? And... We can be direct while still being very free-flowing, right? We can be direct about what we need without making somebody else feel like they're lacking if they don't fit our needs, right? And we don't have to feel like we are lacking if we don't fit someone else's needs, right? So I just feel like it's, it's big, powerful, very empowering shift that is happening for you this week, Aquarius, okay? You are finding that balance in every aspect of your life. Sun coming out, because we have a two here, a two here. We have justice on the bottom of the deck. You are finding that balance, and that's a really beautiful thing, okay? Personal, we have the empress coming out, okay? Wow, you are just really showing up in your world here, Aquarius. Okay, and you're looking good. Okay, but you might not be feeling good. Okay, you are being recognized with the star. But with this five of cups, oh, and the five of swords on the bottom of the deck, there could definitely be some conflict in our mind, in our emotions here. Okay, what is this five of cups? The Knight of Pentacles, okay, so I feel like um, we're really disappointed because something is moving very slow here, our new opportunity. It's, it's coming, but it's not coming as fast as we would like it to, okay? Um, however, Aquarius, I just have to say, 
um, you know, your card is coming out here. So I do feel like we have to just embrace our world for what it is right now. Okay, we have to show ourselves love regardless, show others love regardless. Okay, um, I do feel like with this Five of Cups, um, it's, I feel like it's a little deeper, right, than just this opportunity that we're waiting on. Okay. Because it's not the five of pentacles, right? This is emotional, okay? We have this emotional attachment to money, to whatever this is that this opportunity um, means to us. It, it's deeper, okay? Ace of Swords is coming out. You're realizing that. You're realizing that it is deeper. You're realizing that you've kind of been your own worst enemy in certain ways here, okay? And that's a very good thing to be aware of, okay, because maybe it's valid, right? It, it's totally valid that no one else knows your life, right? And you've been through things in your life that maybe have made you have this em emotional connection to your work, your money, whatever this is. You know, it's a general reading, so take it how it resonates. Um, but I think... I really feel like we're having a realization here that, you know, yes, it's okay. It's okay. I just want to say that, Aquarius, that it's okay if you have been your own worst enemy because, you know, your reasons are valid. No one else has lived your life or had your experiences. Um, so they might not understand why you make the decisions you make or why you do the way you do but they don't have to. But also at the same time, you're having the realization that you don't have to go this way that, that makes things a little bit harder for you either, you know? Like you can, you can forgive yourself for doing that in the past. You can hold space for yourself, but you can also make that change to make your life easier, right? Wonder why. And look, there's money on this card, right? Okay, so... You like I really feel like there is a deep transformation coming this week, having to do with our emotions, with money in every aspect. Right, things are really being illuminated. Make it up is on the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like, you know, Aquarius, we're very creative here, and I do kind of feel with this empress coming out with the wonder why the five of cups all this in our personal energy here i feel like you know it's really calling you to go for a more creative path i feel like you're a very creative artist here aquarius um and that's the recognition that you truly want also so Maybe that's why the opportunities are coming in slow. Maybe you're not going towards that creative potential that you need. Absolutely. I, I can't make this up, Aquarius. You just saw this card fly out. South node. That's right. You're falling into what's comfortable instead of what you want, right? And that's why, that's why it's taking longer. That's why it's slow. And you're like, where is my opportunity? Because you're going the wrong, you're going for the wrong opportunity in a way here. You're going towards your south node. We want to go towards the north node. We have the water element here, sensing, coming out. So, you know, this is deep, okay? But again, it, it speaks so much, right? Because what is this? It's a four. So we know that fours represent stability and water element you know this is our emotions and you know we have this emotional connection again to our stability to money right but it's our emotions that have to be stable before the opportunity can come okay so a lot to contemplate there Aquarius and this is a general reading so take it how it resonates let's get us an affirmation for our week here. All right. We have 
I make a positive difference in the world, even with my smile and words. Okay, so you can screenshot that if you want. Take that with you into your week. I make a positive difference in the world, even with my smile and words. All right, Aquarius, I'm going to leave it there. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Anything you do to help out uh, my channel, I greatly appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful week. I love you. Take care.